Thanks for tuning in to Two Hands and a Face Music Chat. We like to talk about gear here, review it, make it relatable, explain it to the best of our ability. On this occasion, we're having a hard look at the Nigel Distortion Pedal, a product of Lounsbury Pedals Incorporated. And this is an interesting pedal. First of all, it is a very compact, beautifully designed pedal. It's a pretty pedal to look at. It's kind of a root beer color with some lovely artwork. But the most interesting thing is that it's a purely analog pedal, which is to say there are no microprocessors in the signal path. In fact, there are none in it at all. I've opened it and looked inside. This is a purely discrete component theory kind of experience. So what you get with that, first let me demonstrate the sound clean. I'm playing a Charvel guitar through a Black Star amp. And this is a relatively generic clean tone. There's nothing remarkable about it. That's just the clean tone of the amp with a skosh of reverb for your seasoning enjoyment. Let's kick the Nigel on on a relatively low gain setting. As you can see, if I hit the strings just a little harder, and I'm a fingerstyle player, dig, no pick, man, you can coax a little bit of distortion out of this pedal with a little bit harder strike on the string. Or you can hit it lightly and get a relatively clean tone. In fact, damn near a completely clean tone. or you can slug it a little bit. And that's just at a very low setting. The pedal is relatively simple in its control design. It's on and off. It does feature a true bypass feature. When you disengage the pedal, all of the component systems are out of the line, man. It's purely, purely clean and true bypass. The other controls are a level control, of course, can, you know, controlling the overall volume output of the device. And then a drive control, which controls, obviously, the amount of gain or distortion you hope to add to the signal. So let's go from to a little bit more distortion. And I'm going to put it just before the halfway mark and see what we get out of this. It's a very controllable distortion because it's very feel and touch oriented, very much like playing through an old single channel tube amp. The harder you hit it, the more you get out of it. This is the first distortion pedal I've ever played through that reacts in such a touch sensitive manner. Let's up the ante a little bit, increasing the distortion to just past half. And even with the distortion at roughly 60% of its capacity, I can still back off the attack on my strings and clean the sound up beautifully. I can dig in a little bit. Now, if we really want to hit some serious territory here, I'm going to push the gain up to about three quarters and see what kind of a sound we're getting. Just letting it ring, man. Oh. 
So it gives us some beautiful, very organic properties that sound much more like a small tube amp than they do a solid state pedal. But solid state it is, sounds fantastic, and it really even has a tendency to give you a bit of a bass boost along with that high, high, sharp edge at these higher distortion levels. I'm going to go ahead and run it up, man, because that's what we're here for. Nice sustain, nice feedback. Yeah, it's got some it's got some roar to it, man. For such a small package, it comes off like a beast. And there's a lot more tricks up its sleeve that you will find, I'm certain, under a longer investigative time frame. It's a beauty. I like it. I've actually gigged with this pedal. This is the first distortion pedal I've gigged with literally in over three decades. I lost faith in them. They were buzzy and brittle and sounded like toys. Somebody turned me onto this Nigel pedal, and I was blown away with it. I can't say enough good things about it. It's proven itself gig-worthy, and to me, it's so attack reactive that it's like playing through an amp, a tube amp at that. So I can't encourage you enough to go sample one for yourself. This is the Lounsbury Nigel pedal. Uh, Greg Lounsbury is a bit of a tone king and a specialist in building custom gain oriented pedals. So the latest offering, at least the latest one in my stable is the Nigel. It's a beauty. Try it for yourself. And thank you again for tuning in to two hands and a face music.